Hello, Hello guys. guys and welcome back to our channel. In this video we're taking you to one of the best restaurants on the island of Oahu, Hoku's, for a celebration dinner. Today is Devon's birthday and if you're new to our channel my name is Irina and, and Devon. this birthday boy is Devon. And I want to thank you guys for joining me on my birthday on this video. Happy birthday sweetie. Thank you baby. We are staying at Kahala Resort and Hotel for Devon's birthday and we have done resort walkthrough and a review of our experience at Kahala Resort. If you haven't seen those videos, we will leave the link in the description below. Well, I'm starving, so let's get in there. Just be out with us. decor here is very classy yeah. they have really nice spherical chandeliers on the ceiling a lot of wooden furniture and details it's more of a steakhouse, steakhouse feel, feel yeah. a we're more actually sitting in, one. A, in kind of like a curved banquet, banquet. Mm -hmm. and looking at the chandeliers it actually kind of reminds me of the new year's ball in times square <laughs> it's literally it's almost exactly like it it's so cool right now they only do in dinner uh, uh, during the week and on sundays they do in brunch so there are some tables by the window so if you come for an early dinner 5 or 5 30 you'll be able to look at the ocean have some ocean views as soon as we got seated, right away uh, they brought us water and they brought us warm bread. The option is uh, ciabatta and multigrain and they have a special ahi dip. Lot of flavor. I can definitely taste the ahi. There is lemon in lemon. there. It's, definitely it's very dominant. creamy. Mm -hmm. It's really, really creamy. You know what I want to do? I want to take it to go container. <laughs> and just bag it it's that good it really is good for starters we ordered the ahi poke carpaccio and the smoked canpachi the ahi poke carpaccio consists of ogo maui onions sesame oil hawaiian chili and avocado the smoked canpachi consists of grilled hearts of palm green apple radishes and mustard oil this canpachi fish is raised on the big island. They have uh, special barriers in the Pacific Ocean. When the fish goes in, while it's small, and it's just existing in its own natural habitat, and then when it grows bigger, it cannot come out of that barrier. And it's very that's where very, they get it from. It's a mild fish, very tender. I really love the combination of gentle fish and mm -hmm. crunchy vegetables yes really good texture bites of balance. vegetables and, and now this dish is oh. it's not overpowering with taste and flavors it's just all really just mild. textured and mild yes it has dill which you know russians love dill mm -hmm. tuna i love tuna and the avocado is pureed. Mm -hmm. Now this. This is bursting with flavor. The creaminess of the avocado and the ogo, which is... Um, this little brown seaweed looking like Yeah, and that's things. what gives it a lot of crunch. That has a lot of crunch to it. Very, a lot of texture. So these two dishes are very different from each other, but they both exceptional. For appetizers, we ordered shellfish ravioli, which includes small kina farm kimichi mushroom, shayota tendrils, preserved lemon, and soy reduction. For our second appetizer, we ordered soft shell crab, which is prepared with fried green camuela tomatoes, kahuku corn, corn pudding, pickled green tomatoes, and celery salad. This is insane, just the presentation itself, I'm already drooling. Oh, it smells. Oh yes, I smell seafood, 
Mm. I have soft shell crab. Mm. By the way, the crab, you can eat it with the shell. My goodness. What? Inside that ravioli, this is a, a seafood ravioli. There's chunks of seafood. This is absolutely incredible. The lobster, obviously bursting with flavor. The mushroom. I never had soft shell crab before. I am in love with it, especially with this combination. Uh, it has some type of corn paste. The crab shell is really crunchy and I love this puree of corn. For entree, Irina ordered the salmon and dill, which is slow cooked New Zealand salmon, salted cabbage, roasted fingerling tomatoes and dill sauce. I ordered the charcoal grilled Japanese Wagyu, which is prepared with Oprah's farm roasted broccoli, sauce Japanese, and charred eggplant miso. Our waiter brought us a certificate for the Vans Japanese Wagyu. Look, it's quality, grade A, and this is a nose print of the cow he will be eating. Isn't it fascinating? Incredible. It's going to be his first time eating Wagyu steak. Yeah. It looks like a perfect temperature. First time the one is trying Wagyu. Okay. It does not have a steak texture. By far, this is this is at another level though. definitely has the charred flavor very mild charred flavor i think the charredness more comes from the sauce than from the steak itself Absolutely. but yet you can still taste the, the charredness on the steak the outside of the steak is a little bit harder so it, it you can taste that it's been grilled mm -hmm. but the inside it's butter. literally melts in your mouth it's butter it doesn't, the only bite that this steak has is this thin outside crust. layer mm -hmm. of crust. So it's literally, if you understand in millimeters, it's one millimeter on the outside that is, uh, has a little bite to it. And the rest is just melts in your mouth. It's, no, it's, lit it's literally butter. And it's actually paired well with the um, sesame? sesame seed on top. It's really, really, really good. This is this is incredible. This is definitely an experience. And if you get a chance to have this Wagyu, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. My salmon is very well prepared. It is very gentle and light, and the creaminess. It the sauce tastes more like sour cream sauce, and the sauce does not have too much salt. So this flavor is very light and fresh and creamy and it's it's a delight and finally our four course tasting menu comes with desserts we ordered pineapple upside down cake it comes with cornmeal fraser caramelized pineapple and vanilla ice cream and last but not least hoku's warm chocolate galan and you know who ordered that hmm? it comes with raspberry colis vanilla ice cream and alayela salt the chocolate is very rich, as Devon said it perfectly, it is very soft. The inside is so delightful. I and, love the texture. And even though there is, again, no lava kind of, nothing really oozing out of it, it is cooked through. It is very, very soft, very, very moist inside. And it definitely punches the taste buds with chocolate. That chocolate is just so strong. Wow, this has a lot of pineapple flavor. Mm -hmm. It has a, lemon, a little lemon zest flavor. Mm -hmm. I love that it's served warm and with ice cream. It's delicious and it's not super sweet. Mm -hmm. So is Kulani is not super sweet either. Right. Wow, that dinner was incredible. Fantastic. Before we get into the final thoughts and the final bill, be sure to subscribe to our channel because I do have a lot of other birthday plans for Devon. So the reason why this restaurant is special is because the chef was trained by Michelin star 
chefs around the world and he came back he originally is from Hawaii he came back to the island to bring all his experiences together and create this experience Hoku's restaurant offer four course menu which we just had and I am super surprised that I'm actually really full yeah. and they do eight course menu I don't know how would anybody be able to Finish eat that courses for sure. the portions are so small that by just thinking about the portions we were not uh, thinking that we're gonna be full, full but I literally ate half of my portions and the I one yeah <laughs> finished it all the service is impeccable the waiter was so courteous he and the dishes came out really in good time and we didn't feel like we were being just shoved with food and we had to just eat one meal after another Perfectly meal timed. Uh, yes we had time to just uh, have a conversation in between shoot a vlog for you guys <laughs> so the final bill is Drum roll. $345.86 and that includes tip. Two glasses of rosé was $36. Two four course prefix menu meals were $180, which is $90 per person. We got $50 upcharge for the one's Wagyu steak. My tea was $7, tax $12.86, and the service was phenomenal, so we left $60 tip, which brings us to $345.86. Mahalo so much for joining us for this birthday dinner celebration. Be sure to leave a comment, click thumbs up for this video. It really helps our channel grow. Sure does. And as usual, just, just be, be out, out with, with us. us. All right, Dablat, stop. All right. <laughs> All right, our camera battery. I'm gonna leave it there.